Okay, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of how I uh, get a dog to change its mind on its outrun. So this is blowing a dog out, but it's um, blowing a dog out on its outrun. But it's more than that because sometimes we, you know, we want to make the dog go a little wider, but to the same sort of area. But this is about actually changing a dog's mind because it's going wrong. So if you imagine, maybe you go to a double gather trial, maybe you get into a final of a double gather, and the dog's thinking about the about the um, the first lift post from the from the, from the qualifying days, and it's you know in the wrong area of the field. So because we've got this big lovely field here, which I'm very lucky to very lucky to train on, I'm going to get my dog to focus on the wrong sheep. I'm going to let him go wrong. So as he starts to go in here, I'm going to hopefully get him in here. And then when he's at that position, whereby he's sure he's gathering this area, so you can see we've got quite a lot of sheep here, but there is some down there and right up on the hill under the windmills. So I'm going to let him start to come in here, and I'm going to let him go quite wrong. So I'm going to encourage him by, by, making, by walking straight at him and sending him straight. And then when he's at the position whereby he's, he's, he's quite wrong, I'm going to be stopping him. I'm going to stop him hard. I'm going to put the turn back command on him then, so as he thinks different, and I'm going to flick him out. And hopefully, I'll be able to get him to flick out quite square from where he should be. So I always think that when, you, when you're blowing a dog out on an outrun, having that angle to blow him into is important. So if, if, we were, if we were sending a dog on an outrun, and they were going to, and they were going straight up here from the camera and was going straight up here okay and he started to come in on the outrun here because he missed them we've got the angle with him there to blow him out now what we do struggle with is if he's coming so straight across the field we let we leave it too long so all of a sudden we haven't got the angle to blow him out to because blowing out would be nearly going straight at his sheep rather than out so it shows the importance of blowing a dog quite early in its outrun if you think he's going wrong because when the angle gets so as the dog's actually coming in if you've got to make a dog, if you think about the degrees of change, if you've got a dog coming in and he's coming straight across the middle of the field, so if you can set things up when you're training to make things go wrong, to get the dog in a position he doesn't want to be, so you can then get him out of it. I hope that makes sense. Jimbo. Jim, that'll do, Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim, Jim, that'll do. Okay, so I've got him looking at these sheep. Come by. Come by wondering should I take these down he's just waiting for a bit of command now probably so what I'll do is I'll just give him a hand in a minute I'll let him when he gets far down here I'll give him another left and then he should go right he should go up onto that wall and see he should be able to see them ones down there there's some even further fella good dog I'm trying to try to find ways to replicate work situations or replicate things going wrong replicate sorry um is you know it, it, it's a good way of of making you have the yeah the tools in your box to bring out you know when it goes wrong 